This next series of lectures is going to be about writing tests for your Vue 3 applications using Vue Test Utils, a small utility library that comes with Vue, which you can use to write some tests. We're going to use the Vue CLI to create a new project and then make sure everything's working and start writing our first test. So the first thing I'm going to do is run Vue Create and I'm going to create a new project in the current directory. We're now going to select a few options. So what I'm going to do is choose manually select features. We'd like to have Babel and we'd like to have unit testing. We're going to leave all the other ones blank. We could of course have other things if you like, for example, TypeScript, Router and Vuex. I'm just going to use the minimum dependencies possible and that's going to let us focus on the ideas and concepts instead of getting caught up in the technology and tooling. The next thing we're going to do is choose Vue 3X. We would like to use Vue 3 for this particular tutorial and we're going to use Jest for our test runner. Finally, I'm going to pick in dedicated package files or in dedicated config files, and that's all we need to do. I've already run this to prepare, so I'm not going to actually install everything, but if you just say yes here, it's going to run and install everything for you. Once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and try and make sure everything is working. I'm going to run yarn test unit, and with a bit of luck, our test is going to pass, the default test that comes with the project, and if that is what you see, then everything is working correctly. Let's go ahead now, take a look at the test and see how everything works, and then write our very own test. The first thing I'm going to do is run yarn test unit dash watch in another another project or in another terminal. And this is going to automatically run the test every time I save my file. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the test file. It's in test unit example spec JS. What I'm going to do is delete the example one. We're going to write our very own to understand how everything works. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the mount function and that comes from view test utils. If you have used view test utils before, you might be familiar with one other function, which is called shallow mount. We're going to come back to that one later. It's a little bit more of an advanced API. The next thing we're going to do is create our own component. I'm going to call mine app and we're just going to create it here for now. We are going to look at single file components a little bit later on. For now, we're just going to create everything here to keep it as simple as possible. And this is going to be a very simple component. It's just going to greet the user by saying hello. Let's go ahead and write our very first test. I'm going to be testing the app component and all we're going to do is assert that the HTML is rendered correctly. The first thing I'm going to do is create a wrapper component or a wrapper object and this is going to be mount and we're going to mount our app. And what this is going to do is take our component and render some HTML for us. Kind of like when you do mount with your view app inside of main.js. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do a console log on wrapper.html. And this is going to show us the current HTML that is rendered. And if I save this one off, the test is going to run automatically. And with a bit of luck, we're going to see div hello. So everything is now working correctly. Just to make sure everything continues to work correctly, I'm going to write an assertion. And we're going to say expect that wrapper HTML is equal to that exact HTML. So I'm going to say to be and just pass in div hello and close that one off. And with a bit of luck, this is going to pass. Let's take a look at what a failing test might look like. I'm going to modify this to make it fail. And if I save it off, we're going to see now the test is failing and it's going to tell us what's different. In this case, we have way too many O's. Let's revert that and make everything pass. And with that, congratulations, you've written your very first test.